Recently, I've been working diligently on an online resource. I've had some extra time this summer, and as I have continued to develop this online resource, it's really interesting to go back on the knowledge and the foundations upon what you've learned and looking back at your own learning journey. One of the core lessons that has come to me throughout this time of developing this online resource is just how much of a process the learning journey is when it comes to getting in anything, but more specifically geared towards cybersecurity, of course, on this channel. As I look back before even um, starting to post on YouTube and then posting some of my first content on YouTube and, and website, it's very interesting to see the learning process, you know, going from a little guy who is very kind of timid and shy uh, uh, in front of the camera, giving career advice as a little freshman and to transitioning into more, you know, technical based learning, technical based projects. And then finally, you know, looking back at the different types of coursework that you've gone through. It's all very interesting to see the process and really the development and the progression as you go throughout that process. You know, there's been some very core cool lessons that I've learned as I have looked throughout my learning process in cybersecurity. I think all of us have our own journeys and stories to tell when it comes to getting into a career. And so I'm going to share just a few lessons as I reflect upon my journey. Um, a few lessons that I have learned throughout this process. Uh, and yeah, that that's, that's basically it. It's within the process that you really learn to appreciate your work and what you've done in the past. As a little timid freshman in college and even when I was in high school, not knowing where to start in cybersecurity, um, and then doing some random coursework and working through the process. You learn to really appreciate that process um, when you look back at your learning journey. Oftentimes, I feel compelled to be working with advanced tools and technologies, um, either to appear that you know I'm a cool person or, or really ultimately just prove it to myself that I have what it takes. But really it's within the process of being patient with yourself and working through the issue uh, that you're really gonna learn to appreciate your hard work and you're gonna understand the appreciation of how far you've come. You know, if the end result is just given to you already, then there really is no gratitude that comes from being somebody who works through the coursework, who struggles with an issue. You know, to give you an example, I often, encounter people who really struggle with programming and I'm an individual myself who isn't necessarily great at programming and you know I look at my colleagues and my peers and some of them are so good at programming or programming concepts and I struggle so bad with it but then I realize that you know this struggle is what really builds me as an individual it's what builds my character moving forward it's a skill that you can't necessarily just uh, you know, pick up. It's something that needs to be developed. It's a muscle. It needs to be developed through time. And so you have to go through that struggle and through that process. With the prevalence of social media platforms, I think it's a significant pressure to be always broadcasting some sort of accomplishment or achievement that you have uh, either accomplished or, or are you working towards? And although I have personally nothing wrong with sharing your accomplishments or maybe your goals on social media, I guess one of the things that I've really realized um, as someone who's posted things up on a, on a YouTube platform or whatever it is, is that success comes within. Uh, although it is great to share your successes with other people, ultimately you are going to be happy with yourself within yourself, meaning that you don't need to go out and share um, your accomplishments and your goals all the time, in my opinion. And then this is just my opinion. Um, what I've realized is when you do that, when you're in that mentality of constantly sharing something about what you're doing, it's very easy to get caught up in the amount of likes or comments or views for the sakes of YouTube. Um, you know, it's very easy to get caught up in that. And although numbers to some extent can show your success or the number of likes, uh, ultimately success is gonna come within. So for me personally, it's made me feel very empty. 
I think it's very easy to get caught up in that validation and, and it's very easy, at least I think it is. Um, and so being able to differentiate yourself from that is really an important skill and something I've learned along this journey. All right, so I know I get uh, very much so made fun of from some people. Uh, I call myself a script kitty because let's be honest, I'm a script kitty. But really, all jokes aside, I use that word script kitty for a reason. Um, for me personally, I know that a script kitty is just a really beginner novice dude who wants to be an expert cybersecurity expert hacker or whatever, or showcase his awesome skills. The script kitty mentality is more about embracing a beginner's mindset. What I mean by this is there is always something new you can learn. Me personally, uh, having the script kitty mentality, although it is a joke, is, is more about embracing this mindset of it's always about learning. Although I don't really know if script kitties are about embracing mindset, but I just use the word script kitty as it means to say it's always about learning. It's always about being able to take a opportunity to learn something new. Connecting with a community of people has been significant. Uh, on YouTube, in specifically YouTube, I have been able to connect with some really cool people uh, online. Uh, it's been pretty cool to connect with different types of professionals and people with different cultural backgrounds. And having this community and developing a community is really awesome. I think it is great to connect and understand and learn different people's perspectives and their stories and know that everyone has their own story to be told when it comes to getting into cybersecurity, uh, that there isn't one necessary or right way to get into a career in cybersecurity, and that there isn't one path, that there are so many paths that you can choose to not be discriminant towards one path or another and to just be encouraging. I learned this through community. I learned this through connecting through an online community. So community has been really great and I've been able to connect with some really awesome people. Yeah, so these are some of the lessons and although they're not very technical lessons, um, these are some of the kind of the life lessons that I've learned progressing throughout my cybersecurity journey. And there's gonna be tons more as I continue to move forward. While I've been in development of this online resource, it really has brought moments of reflection upon um, different lessons that I've learned personally from getting into this industry and connecting with other people. So I'm curious, you know, what what is your story? How did you get into cybersecurity? What made you interested? Um, uh, leave a comment down below. No, I'm just joking. Really, I would be really interested. Um, if you could leave a comment down below, describing a little bit about your story, that'd be awesome. Uh, I would love to understand what your story is like and how you got into cybersecurity. All right, so again, hasn't been very very technical today, but um, yeah, that's it for my lessons. Thank you very much for watching and um, have a good day.